Hey, 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 we are back. We are now back in the kitchen at Little Mo's place, and we're going to be cooking up something real special today. We're going to do the Little Mo's place's version of Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yes, we're going to be cooking up a Popeye's chicken sandwich for basically one third of the price that you would pay at Popeye's that you can feed your whole family. Popeye's chicken sandwiches for one third of the price. All right, let's go ahead and get started. And while we're doing that, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Click the little bell right there. All it is is just notifications to let you know when I put out a new video. All right, let's get started up in Little Mo's place. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get started right here. First thing we have is our whole chicken breast. Now, it was like there's two more pieces to go with this, so let's look at cost. This was $12. Okay, so already we've already saved money. We have six chicken breasts, two not here, two, two still in the pack, but we got six chicken breasts for $12. Now, as you can see, these, these breasts are kind of thick. They're kind of thick. Now, you know your chicken sandwich um, from Popeye's is not going to be that thick, so what I'm going to try to do I'm going to try to shave these a little bit, a little bit thinner. All right. I'm going to try to shave these a little bit thinner. Like I said, tools are everything. They are everything when it comes to cooking. Remember that. Eight chicken breasts already. That's eight chicken sandwiches. <sighs> Buy that from Popeye's. See, it only cost you a hundred bucks straight off the bat, especially when you're talking about getting a meal. All right, we got our chicken breasts ready to go. They've been washed. I'm going to set these to the side and we're going to get started on our mix. All right, we got our bowl here. We got our mix. First, I'm going to start with my three eggs. All right, we're going to start with my three eggs. All right, all right. Got my three eggs going on right here. Oh, Lord, I hate when I do stuff and I can't find. Okay, there we go. What am I looking for? All right, got my three eggs. I'm going to whip up my three eggs right quick. All right, we got our three eggs. We got them all whipped up, okay? That's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna add us a little milk. Normally, you would use buttermilk. All right, we got our milk in there. We're gonna whip it up some more with our milk. Right here. We got our milk in. Now what we're gonna do, okay? We're gonna add a little it's called Creole, in other words, Cajun seasoning. All right. A little Creole Cajun seasoning. All right. We're going to add a little paprika. Okay. Just a little bit of paprika. All right. We're going to stir that up again. We're just mixing it up a little bit. All right. All right, all right. Now that we got that all mixed up, okay, what we're gonna do here now, we're gonna add our chicken breast. All right, we're gonna add our chicken breast to this joint. Just mix it in real good. Just add in our chicken breast, all right. All right, we got that all added in. Now what we're gonna do, we're just gonna let that sit. I'm probably gonna let it sit for about a half hour. Uh, a lot of times people let that marinate for a couple of hours, but got other things I need to do. So I need to just let that sit. All right, I'm just gonna set that to the side or you can set it in the fridge, either one. All right, be right back. All 
Okay, we're back. Let's get our mix together. All right, first things first. I got my all-purpose flour. All right. I usually don't do a lot of bread and stuff like that, but this is for the sake of the Popeye's chicken joint. Okay. I'm going to get me a good little amount of flour here. Okay. Got my flour. Make sure. Got all the little beads out. All right. Got my little flour. What I want to do now, I want to add me a little cornstarch. Really about, I'm going to say about a third of what I may have in flour. Something like that. Somewhere in there anyway. All right, I'm gonna start it. Ooh. I tell you, cooking with cornstarch is totally different. I'm a neat freak, y'all. All right, I'm gonna mix that up, mix that up, toss that around, toss that around. I'm gonna add me just a little bit more. Going to start is in the mix. We're going to repeat our process with our Cajun seasoning. All right. We've got our Cajun seasoning going on. Add with a little bit of black pepper into the mix. All right. We got all that in there. Now we want to mix that up. Mix that up in our flour. All right, now what we want to do, we want to take our chicken. We got our chicken breast right here. It's been soaking a little bit. All right, I want to drop that in there. I just want to cover it. I just want to make sure she's covered real good. I want to recover it like on both sides. I want to cover it real good, real good. All right. Barely shaking it off, barely. Okay, get it better on it real good. All right, we got our chicken laid out. Okay, everything's laid out. Let's go ahead and get our grease ready for the deep fryer. Y'all hold tight. But anyway, all right, we got to heat it up to about three fifty. I'm gonna drop my chicken joint down in here. All right. Got my chicken joints heated up. I'm gonna drop my other one down in here. I'm gonna go ahead and just cook probably just two at a time. Oh yeah, she's cooking nice and good. Oh yeah, look at that flakishness. I'm just gonna flip over a little bit. Drop it right back down in there. All right, we got the last of our chicken done. Okay, I'll go ahead, take these two pieces out. All right, all right, let's build this sandwich. I got my bun, I got it buttered and toasted. I got my sauce. Let me tell you what my sauce is it's actually. Italian dressing. It's a little mustard and a little Tabasco. So whatever you choose for your sauce, that is on you. But I like this kind of spicy thing. So I'm gonna bread my sauce the bottom of my bun. I'm gonna sauce the top of my bun. As you see, I got one piece that I got some cheese. I'm a cheese lover, okay? All right, now, this is what I call awesome. 